Hey folks, welcome back to Underfunded Projects. My name is Gabriel, and today we're going to be looking at the Red Zone Troop Carrier, or RZTC. And it is a, a VTOL uh, troop transport that just kind of goes in and out of battlefields. Um, it's meant to kind of come down like a gunship quickly and, and take back off um, with haste. But uh, it does have a few uh, armaments on it. And it's just kind of meant to take small groups of troopers. So you can see uh, probably four troopers can fit in there comfortably. Six to eight uncomfortably. Um, now all of these are Lego people. So they have no uh, sense of comfort. So that doesn't really matter as much. Um, but I'll just go through some of the, some of the cool features of this mock. Um, this was probably built in, I want to say 2014. And I've, I've had it um, just built for a while, working on version two, which will have some more interesting features to it. And it'll, hopefully have a cleaner look. But uh, so for now, starting in the cockpit area, I used this old Spider-Man helicopter cockpit piece and just kind of rubbed off the web part. But the uh, the kind of spider design looks, looks pretty cool. Um, it has room for one pilot kind of sitting back there and he's got some controls there. Looks good. And the cockpit is kind of at an angle just to kind of give it that cool bird-like look. Um, got the top there with uh, red and blue accents on the gray. And then on down, you've got more, more red. Um, more gray. Uh, the the wings or the winglets rather with the turbines can kind of move um, and be be pretty flexible with turning and all that. And then obviously you've got the uh, vertical takeoff option. And then this top part, while it looks pretty pretty sleek with the uh, the propellers kind of down. It looks pretty natural as is um, for the for the vehicle. You can pop them up and have a little more uh, takeoff. Um, kind of strength, I guess you could say. I don't know the technical term. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna cough real quick. <coughs> Thank you. Um, the back uh, sort of winglets as well. They're they're pretty flexible. I just like the look of of these fins kind of facing different directions depending on what the aircraft is doing. So if it's if it's taking off, maybe it would be like this to kind of push airflow behind it as it's taking off this way, or perhaps it's taking off forward and you want the fins like this to kind of push air down this way as it's coming up or whatever. You can also just have kind of a standard look like that which isn't super cool looking, but probably the most realistic. You can also just have them like this, which is probably one of my favorite looks. And then, so back to the, the troopers inside, you can fit a whole bunch of stuff in there. You've got the little cargo area. Possibly you could have someone like lying down here with a gunner um, 
with like a machine gun or something to protect the rear of the ship. Uh, but for the most part, the defense responsibility comes to these guys on the side. There are two turret spots, which can... Oh, he flew out. He's dead. Um, which can kind of hug the ship and, and be not too much in the way. But it can also kind of tilt out just using that, that hinge piece, um, kind of jut it out there. And it kind of clicks against this spot here as it comes in, so it's it's pretty sturdy, and then you just kind of click it out against the the tile there. And so this guy, while out of the way of troops moving in here, can kind of this is kind of in the way, isn't it? You can also tilt these up, which is nice. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Um, this guy can face forward all the way or face out to the side. He can also kind of move the weapon different angles as well if he needs to aim more downward if they're coming down or if they need to aim up and to the rear a little bit. That's cool too. So... I thought that was a cool um, kind of swivel action feature there. That is really it. Uh, I really enjoyed making this. I think that it's a little blocky in areas. Like I would probably, you know, I would probably edit this, like just change that a little bit, the structure of the wings so that um, it didn't look as, I don't know, just out of place a little bit. <clears throat> um, I think I could probably also raise the top of, of the ship, raise the roof a little bit. Raise the roof. That was funny. You guys should laugh at that. No, you shouldn't. It was too corny. Um. But yeah, ra raising the, the ceiling of the ship so that more troops can fit in this smaller area. Like, this guy can't fit there. Um, and that would also make, uh, make the option more feasible to raise the winglets and kind of have them uh, sort of blend in with the top of the... the, top of the vehicle and then I would also change this whole situation here a little bit uh, just so it's not as blocky but uh, for the most part really really enjoyed making this I think it took me a few days um, and a, a couple all-nighters I'm sure um, oh, and I want to forget to Mentioned this, I guess, this little minigun area there. But yeah, uh, it was it was fun. I hope you enjoyed this little mock review or mock showcase. I guess uh, feel free to look at other mock showcases and and enjoy them or don't. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and go about go about your life. Have a good one. Bye.